Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and I was able to grab the old man and bring him back to, to the show. Yeah, old sunny boy, it's hard to get me out. <laughs> old Copper Dice, everybody's always wanting him back on the channel, and we figured we'd do a little knife show and tell, knife talk, whatever you want to call it, and uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll start out with pocket dump. All right, we'll dump it. Okay, first one is the Pinion Knives X-Series Zulu in the marble carbon fiber. Fresh out the mailbox. Yep, this one fresh out the package. I now have the complete series. I'll probably do a video on them with all the different variations of handle covers and blade shapes. And the Mass Drop uh, Gaff Code Nurse with my own little custom anno touches to it. So I don't think it's showing up on the camera. I like it. I like the anno. That this knife, it didn't come super smooth, but I did a little internal working on it, and did you dang. Put some of them skiff bearings on it. No, not this one. This one's got the same bearings. It's got the same bearings as like Best Tech uses. Oh, okay. But something, something internally wasn't right, and sometimes something I've noticed: if you ever get a knife that is that it's just not super smooth, and a lot of people's are. A lot of times when you take them apart, clean them, and adjust the centering, like where the blade shifts, what it's doing is, is it's adjusting that detent. It's the way the, the blade's sitting on the detent. Uh -huh. And sometimes it makes the knife a lot smoother. Is that advice free? No, I'm charging you all for that one. Okay. So what's in your pockets today? Well, uh, 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 I got this uh, Casey Gray that I've been using. You the, the sploof on it? Sploof. Look at that. Comes but with that. Look, see that? I also pulled one out of my mailbox and brought it over here to open it up. It's a uh, open nail number what? I don't know what number it was. Whatever it started. Uh, is it on there? No. No, it just says carbone. I think it's number nine or something. But anyway, this is done by Wills. Well, that doesn't matter what it was because that blade shape was yeah, made like that. Right. But, uh, Nick has a few of them. I got two wells. I got an open L like mm -hmm. this too, but not the Tanto. One thing I love about wells, look at that. That's sexy. Yeah, it's all about the handle material. Black micarta here, and then he sandwiched it with some white G10 with a, a black G10 liner in between some more white G10. Super lightweight. And then you know the open L's are going to cut good because oh, they're yeah. super thin. Oh, yeah, I'm very happy. You did a good job, Mr. Well. Uh, he did a nice dark acid wash on his. Mine just has the satin. I don't even have mine in here. But this one's per. I, the size on this one, for me, that's, that's perfection right there. Mine's yeah. a little bit longer. Do you let you pick you know, your handle materials you want to go with? I usually, I usually give him free reign on most stuff because he, he does a good job with matching stuff up and what they, what they would look good with. All right. Well, that's what's in my pocket. But uh, usually when I come over here, I always, <coughs> I always gravitate towards this just to play with this because I know it. I might not ever have one. Yeah. Let's just say, people, that's my that's still the favorite my favorite knife in my collection. They might be tired of seeing it, but that's the first thing I grab when I come over here. His books are closed, but I, I hear from through the grapevine that he'll be opening his books in about a week or so. So anybody who was trying to get one. Probably shouldn't even be saying that because I think I'm going to be either getting me a second one or a second blade. Uh, he, he uses Zephanet now, which is LC200N basically. And in the South, Z I can benefit. Zephanet. It's like Z F I N I T, I think. Yeah, and I'm, I'm slowly uh, trying to get him to give me one of these because he has two. So. Yeah, and. and but I don't I, think he realizes there's never going to be a chance of that. I was admiring the, uh, the stone wash on the Strider, and the, I like the bright. You know, most stone washes, uh, I guess, are done after an acid wash or whatever, but this bright stone wash just flows good with this blade. Yeah, and tell, tell them how smooth that one is. That one's the smooth. I have two of them, yeah. and that is by far the smoothest. And it does have a little bit... Uh, of a lighter detent so that's probably aiding in the smoothness because when your lock bar pressure is not that great you're gonna have better smoothness that's just how it is 
So. So these are two things that I would like to uh, steal from him when he uh, Look ain't big. looking. Look how big that cut out. I just realized how big the lock bar cut out. That's another thing that gives you um, lighter lock bar tension. Two good size knives, too. Yeah. That's my wheelhouse. This one's perfection in that size, kind of like your open L. This one's great. Now, the only thing that I might eventually mod is when I choke up like this, in the left hand, it doesn't feel bad, but I always found that right here, the way that that's set up, that choil, it kind of feels like it cramps my hand. Put it in your right hand, see, it might not be the same for you because you got fat sausage fingers. You got a fat sausage. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. It don't bother me at all. You didn't curse on my channel just now, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> but uh, on the other end of the spectrum, I kind of seen this, too. That's a beast. That is a beast. That is. It's let's a, move these out of the way because that thing's going to take up the entire screen. That is a, a old Boker model. Not super old. It's a discontinued Boker uh, crying design. Does it even fit in frame? Yeah, barely. It's uh, about I heard that end before. to end. <laughs> But uh, I think it's called the gel gelato, maybe? Gelatino? Something like that. It's a, it's a uh, old, uh, I think, Italian design. And I've always wished he made a smaller version of that. I know they got, a, they got like a, a lockback that looks similar to that. It's cool. Really. From Boker. But I'll tell you what. That like almost like a pistol grip handle right there, that handle is super comfortable. Now it is tipped down. I don't love that, but I don't know. That's, that's, it must be from a different era. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's, it's a, 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 you know how Spyderco has their ethnic series? Yeah. This is, I think, an Italian design. Like I've seen several like this, whatever it's called. That's, you know, this is his iteration of it, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong down below because I'm sure somebody knows. But if they would have made a smaller version of this, I would have been all over it. I've, I love Tom Crine's designs. They all pretty much speak to me. So let's, let's see what else I got for you today. Now this is one that, that you, you see if you didn't see the finished aftermath of it. What do you think about this one? Damn. This is uh, the new Spyderco K390 Delica with some aftermarket scales. What do you think about them scales? What is it, like an alligator? Uh, it's supposed to be like a reptile, I think, pattern. Now, what I think they did was uh, it's just brown canvas micarta, and it almost looks like they might have put like a vinyl sticker over it and then dyed it maybe, I don't know, or maybe lasered it on there. Because yeah. it's, not, it's not like grooved. What is this? Uh K390 Delica. So this is your uh, steel of choice now? K390 just has excellent edge retention. And uh, I have another Delica in the HAP40. I um, like these scales. Yeah. Me too. I like the feel of them. The, my other one's in HAP40. And the, the first run, I don't know if they've ever fixed it, but the first run of HAP40 was soft. This seems thicker. It is. It is thicker than the last one. And something I just figured out, this is another free tip for anybody out there that, that is going to change scales on a Delica. <laughs> Both of my Delicas right now are set up for tip up, tip up left-handed carry, which on my other one is fine because I use it, my Delicas are using my beater knives. And they're usually a secondary knife in my pocket, so it's usually in my left pocket anyway. But for this one, I was going to put it right-handed, but I found that the only way you can put the clip on the right-hand side is once you have the knife apart, before you put that liner and the scale over it, you need to have that clip screwed in because it doesn't line up because... I guess the pressure from the, the back, if, I don't know why it works on this side, but if you take these out right now, you can't get it in on this side. That sounds like a lot. You know, and, but both, both of the, the Delicas that I've changed the scales on to my car scales, they both are the same problem. So as I looked at it, I would have been able to do it with it taken apart. You were stressing? No, not really. I just, I, 
it doesn't bother me, like I said, because I usually carry it in my left hand anyway. Let me so. see if I could do a little, what's this called? Whittle. Whittling. Whittle. Feathering. Fe a feather sticking. I thought you were going to carve them up something. I will by the end of the show. <laughs> so while he's doing that, I'm going to get him out something else. Okay, now this one, very impressed about this. This, this is something I want to get your opinion. I'm a, I got some knives that are modified, and these are some of my favorite places to get either scales from, clips and stuff like that. Places I recommend, and I want to see what Copper Dice thinks, okay? First one is these rock scale design scales for the aluminum version of the bailout with a um, delete on that that uh, glass brick that was in the back. So I got a titanium backspacer, rock scale designs, titanium, um, what is it, titanium scales. And they put this little cut out there so it's it's easy to get to the, to the thumb stud yeah. and blue titanium hardware. What do you think about this now? I think it's awesome. But uh, I like the aluminum. It looks great. Yeah, it looks great. But I'm saying on a, another thing, like this is like a, how much of, how, how much, much is more in this knife right now? Well, let, let's just talk about that because any modifications you make are going to make the knife way more expensive. I mean, they're just, unless you right. do the mod yourself, even then you got to pay for the material. It just, it's all about what you like, you know, like if, that makes you happy rather than buy another knife and you yeah. want to use that money on scales. It's not, it's usually, I promise you, it usually doesn't, it's just like buying a car and putting in speakers and all this stuff. Usually that stuff doesn't get you any extra money. Usually these modifications, unless somebody's looking for that, you don't get anything out of it. Right. You know, I could probably sell this for what I bought it for, but unless I found somebody that was looking for all that stuff, you know, that just got to eat that price. Yeah. It's all about, you know, why do you ever buy anything that's upgraded, you know? Well, I was just thinking, not like as selling, I was thinking like as buying uh, a different knife. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. You know, but if this design does it for you, money, you, right. you know, yeah. and I, I was using this a good bit because the M4 steel is, is, is awesome. It's nice and thin. But the only, the main thing I didn't like was that, that glass breaker. The aluminum scales were fine. I, I prefer titanium, and I like this little cutout. So there were just things I liked, and I like the overall aesthetic of it. Yeah. I don't really like the green on the scales, but that's just me, you know. That's what did it for me. I do like it. I like it. So Rock Scale Designs, U.S. company, definitely recommend them. They, their stuff's done pr with precision. They have tons of different scales. They got 940 scales. They got this. They got, they got paramilitaries. Uh, they got a uh, titanium 940s. Yep. Damn. I think they even have them in stock right now. They do run, so you got to catch them while you can. Uh, so that's the first company that I, I recommend. And the second company is this one right here. Let me see how it whittles. Oh, uh, you got to whittle with everything, huh? See, I told you he slowly turned into an old man. Uh -huh. All right, now this one is sharp dressed knife scales on my smock. Um, it's like, I think it's called camo micarta, canvas micarta. And I did away with the holes. I didn't really like that. With a MXG gear deep carry clip. What do you think about those uh, Yeah, materials? I've seen this one before, but I like this. Uh, I like the tactile. Yeah, the tactile. Tactile feel to it. Yeah, it does have some. Now, it's it, it's not. I like when you can kind of feel the fur on the the cloth. Yeah. That one is brought up to probably a 200 grit finish, something like that. Yeah, so but it's, it's not. It's, it's still like, good. It doesn't feel like a, a polish. It still feels. Oh, it's not polished. That's what I, I said. Know, it's, it don't feel. It's like a medium grit. Right. <laughs> um, you know, just like, let's see. Well, not that one, but uh, let's see another another good company work with is rips garage tech what do you think about it? this is uh bone linen micarta this one i haven't showed I, i'll probably do a, a video on all my modded uh pilars but 
Feel that one. That one feels yeah, good. Yeah, it does feel good. I love linen. Linen's already a soft material. That's going to change colors over time? So. Um, It may, but one thing that I did to these that might keep it from, like, darkening is I put uh, boiled linseed oil on them because they were real, like, you know, when they're fresh, they're, like, real white, white, like, they're chalky looking. So I like whenever it brings the color out. Especially with that black, that, you know, gray blade. Yeah. But this one's, like, been overhauled completely. It's got a different backspacer. This pocket clip, I don't know. I, I got it off of Amazon, so I don't know. I, I'm not going to recommend that. I just don't know. Crown the spine on this one. This is the one that I thinned out, too. I, I, you can see the grinds up some. I don't have my other ones to show the difference. But that one's super smooth. Yeah. He, he, he liked modern these PLR. It's one of my favorite budget knives. Or peel or whatever. It's, called. it's comfortable. It, it it the aesthetics do it for me. And did I say these are I think Rip Rip's Garage Tech? That's another good company to work with. Yeah. They got scales and clips I and stuff. I own a pair of uh, my quarter scales from here. Do you? From what? My, I, For that paramilitary too. Yeah. They 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 got a bunch of different uh, knives. Okay. Here's another Rips Garage Tech clip. This is a wire clip replacement. And the main reason why, I love the wire clip. But for some reason, being that this one, set, the clip is set up so high to keep it away from the lock bar, whenever I use this knife and I'll squeeze in it, that back prong right there was just eating into my hand. And my hands are already beat up. So I like comfort. I go for comfort. I think it looks pretty good too. It does look good. I, I I like the wire clip. A lot of people though don't like it. That I was surprised about. The wire clip just functions excellent, and I don't have to worry about it ripping up anything. Like it, uh, for some reason, my clips always get caught underneath my steering wheel and rip up my steering wheel in my truck. So when I have the wire clip, I don't really have to worry about that because it rolls off. It doesn't have any hard edges. I forget I'm supposed to uh, not keep it block, in frame. Not block the knife with my hand. No. It's all right. We they all know you, you kind of slow, so. Hey, I'll give them that. I <laughs> you're not gonna widow with the the techno. No. That's it, a techno too by Spider Co. Doesn't, doesn't strike me as a good whittler. Oh, it is. I stropped it up the other night, so. That's a good secondary knife. That's one thing chopsticks are good for. All right, now this one. Hey, it was a pleasant surprise. I, everybody that's been on the channel knows Ooh. I like my thin slicing blades and I like my smaller knives, but for some reason here lately, you know, anybody who, who's, who's been in the knife game long enough know that you go through phases. The knife game, boy. I mean, you will go through different phases. Even even Copper Dice, whenever he first started, oh, yeah. he was I've into a certain different types of knives. I think I hit them all already. But, I, yeah, I'm on. I'm on the backstroke right now. I'm, I'm coming back around. Oh yeah, you, 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 and you. I've been getting some overbuilt knives. I wanted a uh, uh, a Demco MG uh, ten, but I can't find them. And I want the MG the Shark Lock one, but I keep missing them. The other yesterday, I missed one that I really wanted in three V. But this is by far the most comfortable lock to use on this one and this one's the smoothest i've ever gotten out of box but how smooth that thing is i felt it last time i came watch out don't it's got make sure your fingers up in that choil that one is stupid smooth out of box oh, i don't know if they're all like that or, is that titanium line? i think that's aluminum if i remember correctly to keep the price down but that is so smooth yeah and it's not it doesn't hurt to disengage that lock like some of them it feels good in hand yeah, it's a comfortable knife, but I got I went on a little binge. I got that. I got the AD10. I got the AD15. I did a bunch of mods to it to make it comfortable. Because I will say the AD15 out of box, I could not open mine, and it was painful to use. But I did a bunch of mods to it. I'll probably do a video on that. And I also bought I don't know if you saw it a recon a clip point recon uh, one or whatever it is recon. I don't know, bro. It's inside, though. So I went on. I ain't, I'm not very good with the knife name game. Uh, one more uh, mod guy that I, I, I 
forgot about that I, I love his work is RC Blade Works. This is a XM18 3 inch OD green linen micarta scales. I just got these in. He does some excellent work too. Those, those look legit, bro. Yeah. I like the dark and the, the light part. Yeah, because like that's the the dark part's the material coming up. Yeah, the I, light part is where the, the material you, sitting. You hardly notice any going vertical. What do you mean? Like the lines of the linen, I always, you know, it, it seems like. It depends on how they're milling it. Yeah. Well, obviously, I know that, but, you but know, most people are going, I guess, go the other way. This this is probably, this is one of my favorite user knives. This thing is stupid smooth, comfortable in hand. I think the, the non-flipper hinders is the way to go. Yeah, I, I like the non-flipper. You know, the flipper, you know what I saw? Uh, I think it was on GP Knives that I almost pulled the trigger, but it, it's not a non-flipper. They got the XM18 three and a half inch skinny. Yeah, I've seen that. They What's just a did skinny? drop. It's it's uh it's skinnier here and a skinnier blade stock. Oh. So it's a little bit better of a, a slicer because it's it's ground a little thinner. So if they come out, my my dream is to get either three inch or three and a half inch skinny non flipper. Um, I either like, I like slicer. That, I like that thickness. It feels. Slicer or warning. Now, the thickness on, on these are perfect because the skinnies of these aren't frame locks. They're liner locks. Oh, yeah. So I don't really need a skinny in the three inch, but I wouldn't mind a three and a half inch skinny either warning or slicer. Like that's, that. my, that's my dream knife. I like that in a warning or slicer myself. You can't go wrong. This is USA made, exceptional quality, heirloom quality, would you say? I mean, that thing's built to last. Yeah. Everything about it, you know, you got external stop pins for side to side lateral uh, stability. You got huge pivots, huge standoffs for even more, you know, rigidity going, you know, keeping it straight and a beefy frame lock. Kind of wish they would have kept without the uh, inserts, the the lock inserts, because that could be a recipe for disaster, but. It, I can't speak on all the hinders, but this one is this particular one is is a uh, uh, meat and potatoes, I guess you'd say. Now it with came. A gravy it, on top. I like it. <laughs> it came with the uh, bearings installed, so I just I haven't really taken it completely apart yet. But I think when I do, I probably install the Teflon because I love that butter smooth that Teflon gives. That's just me. I know some people hate them. I like the way. Especially in a hinder, because they're done right. You know, if you have Teflon washers and a, a knife that's not squared up and it's not done fine tuned, yeah. then it's gonna feel like crap. Yeah, I guess it depends on the type of Teflon. I don't know if it's a different type, but uh, you know, just cheaper knives. You know, you could tell the difference. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay, one that I could do a good comparison on is I mean, this Pilar. Okay, this Pilar know. is on uh, Teflon. Yeah. Stupid smooth. I have three other Pilars. Two of them are on, on Phosphor Bronze washers. One of them came from the factory of Phosphor Bronze because it's S35VN. This one, um, I mean, the other one is aftermarket. And the Teflon is the smoothest out of all of them. Yeah. Drop shut and everything. So I'm going to show you a couple more and then we're going to wrap it up because this is, we don't want it to be an hour long video. Uh, okay, real quick, we can talk about these. I'll pull them all out. Ain't quick. nothing he does real quick. I'll no. tell y'all that right yeah. now. Everybody, everybody who's on the channel knows it's not real quick. This is... I like this pin, though, by the way. Yeah, that's a great little pin. I still want to do a video on that. It's, I think it's called the Refine R-F-Y-N-E, maybe. Yeah. Okay, this is the Pena X-Series collection of like the small oh, hold on the smaller variants of them the front flippers i'm sorry yeah that's the entire front flipper collection out of all four of these this is the zulu the trapper the swayback and the apache which one is your, what covers are your favorite you got the marble carbon fiber jig bone green canvas micarta and natural ma micarta canvas I would say I like this car, one. My car is hot. This one aesthetically style. is the the best looking, in my opinion. 
It wears well. Yeah, it it it, it shows character. Right. These two won't ever look different unless you anodize these or something. Uh, well, the, I mean, just look, the feel on this carbon fiber is is feels like I just want to throw it. <laughs> it's that light, you know. It's just yeah. It's, it, it does make it does feel lighter. I mean, it just is light on there. But I promise you, there this one's the same weight as that one probably. Really? Oh yeah, I guess you're right. It, it's it all just about, looks yeah. light. I don't know. Yeah, it does. Cause my, cause carbon fiber, that's why people put carbon fiber on fast cars because they want to to break the weight down, you know. Yeah. So I don't, know. I don't have a fast car. <laughs> now, which one of these is your favorite? Uh, like that's one the favorite. Apache. Yeah, this is my. This has become my favorite too. This is like I said, the Trapper. This one's my first one I got. It's broken in really nicely. Yeah. This one right here, I think, has the best action. This one came from Pena. Uh, aesthetically, I would have to go with the Apache, and overall, I would have to go with the Apache. That's the, the this is the only uh, hollow ground. Uh, that is thin right this there. This is this is I think a hollow too, huh? This is thin right here. No, this this is this is a flat grind. Is, it, is that a that one's thick? That's a flat grind, and I wish this is a flat grind too. I wish this one would have been a hollow, but yeah, that's the only one with a hollow, I think. This. This is thin. Look at that. Dude. Nice. That one probably needs a sharpening. That one and the patch because I've been using them. The action on this one is not as great as that's. You know he hadn't taken them apart or nothing. But yeah, the only one that I ever took apart was this one. This one came in today and right out of the box it was it was fabulous. I like the uh, I like the nail makeup in the back right here. Yeah, I mean, because we know you're a grandpa, so yeah. you like that old I mean, school. I'm just kidding. It's just a, uh, it, it's a very attractive knife that that shouldn't shouldn't uh, scare the sheeple out there. What's a sheeple? You know, people that are oh my god, he's got a knife. Oh. It's a murder weapon. You know, those type of people. I don't know any of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. Sure, I, I I know. Whenever I used to go to my mom, my mom used to own a mail service place, and every time they would ask me to cut something, if I didn't go, for some reason, if I didn't grab the box cutter and I pulled out a knife, their faces looked like I was about to maul them or something. I, I don't tell you I don't what, get it. If I don't have a knife on me, then something is wrong. Yeah, I feel naked. I mean, carried one every day. The only time, the the longest I ever been without a knife in my pocket is when I was in in the ICU. That's about it. Because they wouldn't allow me to. I tried, though. I promise you that. I, I didn't. don't know when the last time I went to a place where I couldn't have a knife. What about this X-Series? This is the Pena X-Series Mula. Now, this, to me, is just a great knife. No thread, no frills, nothing fancy. Just a classic design. Yeah. Super, super smooth. You know I like the thumb studs. I'll get these out of the way. It is heavy. It's because it's solid. It's, it's, it is solid. I don't think, I don't think he does any milling no on any of them. I, you know, he's trying to make them affordable because his customs are expensive, you know? I mean, it's not heavy to wear out. It's ridiculous, but it... Now, I will say I love the fact that more makers are making production models of knives that most people can't uh, obtain because of the price tag. You think the quality is uh, close to theirs? That's they're built by Riot, I think. I'm that. Oh, I, I don't know. I I'll say this. I know that that J J G Van. Uh, what's that dude's name? You got that custom from? Uh, oh, Guthrie. Guthrie, yeah. That. Now look. I don't think it, uh, production. Company no, okay. Can match you know it. why? Okay, the what you're getting from a custom, even if okay, say if. It, say the custom of Pena was completely made by machines, milled out. The 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 main reason why it would be better than this one is because he fine tunes it. Right. You know, he makes sure that everything's square. He makes sure the detent is set just right. You know, on a production scale, they're making so many of them and they're trying to do them in a timely fashion. So they have set jigs that set the, you know, stuff. And they may have, you know... They got, so I guess, in other words, the price warrants. I mean, the custom I, I'll tell you this: uh, any custom, the price is always going to be dictated by the demand. Always, 
you know, if, if they're hot and the amount, so the supply, supply and demand always rules. A custom maker that's hot, that's making good designs, that's only making five knives a year, of course those knives are going to be in your $1,200, $2,000, $5,000 range. That's just life. That's just like any, anything, you know. Sports cars, Lamborghinis, you know, they're limited. They, they're hand-built, you know, all that stuff. So, I don't know. Some Now, I will say there are some so-called custom knives. You know, I, everybody has different definitions on a custom knife. But some knives, I'm not going to name any companies or people, but they don't put a lot of handwork into them, and they sell them for, you know, these high prices. The, I think that's a little ridiculous. But whatever the market's willing to pay for them, and unfortunately we have some people in the community that have deep pockets, so that kind of screws the rest of us. So uh, You just lost half your viewership on all that long rant. <laughs> but, uh, well, he was cutting up uh, my, my Q-tips over here that I, I cleaned knives with, so I, I was the, Earlier uh, before you uh, wanted to do this video, I uh, was messing with that tied to paramilitary too that one's pretty cool just i see that's another one that supply and demand drove that price up on that knife yeah i might eventually sell mine i'm sure i'll get 57 comments down below yeah i don't have any time to so that's a probably a good one uh, for me. maybe i'll sell it to copper dice for what i paid for it about 89 dollars add, add 100 to it that's exactly Damn. i think it was a 189 all so right. there you go. There's there's y'all 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 monthly dose of copper dice. Y'all uh, uh, put in the comments uh, what what you want him to buy to to check out next. Yeah, that 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 that'd be cool. And that way I know you made it to the end, my true loyal supporters. I always love seeing the comments y'all put, so I know that you know those are my my OGs, my my subscribers that that like to watch these long videos. <laughs> so there you go. We're we'll gonna wrap it up. Everybody, thank Copper Dice for uh, showing up. You know, he, it, it's, it's kind of hard to get him out of the bed sometimes, but I'll, I'll pay him on the back end for this video. So with this right here, <laughs> not a chance, not a chance. These two, these two aren't going anywhere. Number eighteen. <laughs> All right, guys and girls. Hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. Anything you want to say? Uh, support your local humane societies. And, and get your pets neutered, spayed and neutered. <laughs> Peace. <Bye. laughs>